This is my 1980 Porsche 911 SC. It's been updated to a 1986 911 Carrera spec. What that means is that the three liter motor was taken out of the car and replaced with a 3.2 liter Carrera motor. Uh, the car races in E-Class in Porsche Club of America and at a weight of 2,779 pounds. It was built by Jim Buckley of Buckley Racing and I think Jim is probably the best builder of a Porsche 911 race car of this vintage for this class uh, that exists. This was Jim's last car that he built and he raced it uh, at eight events starting in 2016 and I raced it at one event this summer at Brainerd. Um, I, this was a car I bought for a local friend of mine hoping he would uh, leave the 911 Cup class and join us in E and for some reason he is not uh, bitten on that offer so the car's got to go. Uh, this is my race car. This is a 3 liter and uh, I set the track record at Brainerd last year. I was about a half second off in this car this year at the event and it was the first time I had driven the car. They are set up pretty much the same as far as the uh, three-way shock package, uh, but you know, weather conditions and such can make a difference. So a uh, very competitive car. This would put you at the front of E-Class if you can drive the car fast uh, right away, day one. It comes with two sets of wheels along with some rain, rain tires. And uh, let's take a look on the inside. So this car was stripped down to basically a tub and repainted uh, inside and out. It has a Recaro Hans Pro uh, seat and uh, halo along with some Schroth uh, racing belts uh, up to speed or as far as up to date. Uh, comes with a new, uh, newer Momo steering wheel. And on the inside, all the gauges work. It comes with a solo uh, data acquisition from AIM. Has a cool suit set up in the car, as well as a fire extinguisher. Uh, it does not have a fire system in the car. Uh, just give you a little idea of what the inside looks like here. Um, it's a type of rear view mirror. It has, does have a radio system in it. Uh, dash is pretty much perfect all the way across and you can see we have a switch up here uh, one is that's for a fan for the front brakes I'll show that to you in a second uh, the other uh, power switch is right here and I believe the other one is for the cool suit also has two USB plugs as well this has the remote canisters uh, in the cockpit and they are JRZ uh, triple adjustables. I don't think I've ever used the uh, adjustments while I'm driving the car I can tell you that but they're pretty easy to get to given that they're in the cockpit rather than up front in the back. So just giving you an idea how clean this car is I mean literally rivals a brand new cup car on the inside as far as how it's all stripped out and uh, put together. Here's a look at the pedals. Uh, perfect heel and toe position on this car. Has a 915 box and that runs great. Um, shifter I'll tell you about in a minute. It's gonna be on the build spec. So you can see the doors are all gutted out. And I do have a set of window inserts that are made out of Lexan that you can seal the doors up with when you're storing it outside or if you have it on an open trailer. See, go back and look at the engine here. So here's a look at the engine compartment. As you can see, very, very clean. Pretty much everywhere. This has been maintained. Um, 
Let's see here. Has a uh, guard limited slip, proper Carrera gears for this class. And definitely I'll put the specs with this you can look at. Oh yeah, the uh, leak down was 3%, 3%, two and a half, four, two and two. Compression 195 PSI. I can tell you the engine pull strong is in excellent shape. Get a little bit of a look on this side of the car as well. Just to give an idea. Those are the windows I was talking about right there that just go up into the window openings and they are nice and convenient to have. Um, these are your ballast plates on the bottom. They're bolted down to the car, very low profile. Uh, nice low center of gravity. Here's the shock mounts again. I will say this car is, uh, as far as your driving position, belt position, seat height, I'm about 5'9". It's absolutely perfect. Take a look at the front of the car here. So one of the issues with these early cars is that uh, you had to do a refueling uh, during like a 90 minute enduro and they have pickup problems. So like in this car, I have to run it at about a quarter uh, tank full uh, at the end of a race. If I go any lower, if I go around a really, uh, like at the carousel at Road America, you have problems picking up gas. Well, Jim solved that. He made a custom tank, fully legal in PCA, has two pickup points in it. Uh, so you don't get any uh, cavitation and uh, it holds, I think, uh, I'd have to look how many gallons it is, but it, it holds a lot of gas. I'll put that way. You can get through an entire uh, PCA event or a 90 minute enduro. Uh, it's 25 gallon run dry tank with two fuel pumps. So that's, uh, that's a big deal. Uh, we put the battery up here in the smuggler's box, perfect position. Um, you can see everything, the blower's in here. Obviously it's an E-stock class car. And uh, these blowers work really good for each of your front brakes to keep your brakes nice and cool. So you can see this is about as clean as it gets when it comes to a race car. So selling this car for $82,000, uh, I will make no money on it. That's what I have into it. Uh, I can tell you that if you go out and buy a 40, 50, or even $60,000 e-class car by the time you're done with it to make it this competitive that has a suspension set up as well as this car does you'll have the same amount of money into it and it still won't be as nice of a car and that is the deal you, you just this car was made so perfect right from the beginning and everything is set up based on about 20 plus years of Jim's experience not only building these cars but racing his cars. And all you have to do is look at his lap times and his uh, wins over time, and you'll find that uh, the guy knew what he was doing and he builds what I feel is the best e-car uh, or this vintage race car out there. And it's, it's absolutely perfect. So if you're looking for a perfect car that you can take right to the track and be competitive with, this is it. If you're looking for a car that's 40, 50,000, doesn't have the shock package, doesn't have this type of quality, uh, along with a number of other little tricks, then uh, go for it. But it, it won't even be close to this car, and I've proven that every year since I've owned that car, which is Jim's original car that he built for himself uh, in the last uh, number of years, which I bought from him and have raced now for the past three years. Uh, so that's all I got. Thanks.